Hello, this is Jan Vermeule with Mobility Minded and today we're going to take a look at a new Samsung Galaxy S phone brought out by Verizon. It's called the Samsung Continuum and it's again a Galaxy S phone, uh, very similar to the other Galaxy S phones that has that beautiful AMOLED screen. Um, so, but the difference about this one would be, if I grab the bottom of this already, you might be able to see it if it activates. It's not... There it goes. When you hold it, you actually are seeing that there is a second screen on the bottom. So, that second screen right here is, you know, a quick button to get to your um, notifications. So, instead of getting push notifications, you actually get notification, what they call, into a ticker bar. So the ticker bar will show you very easily all your emails, all your missed calls, your text messages, and also a quick access to the weather, to your clock and date. And if you click on the settings on the right hand side or the drop down menu, it actually using the screen right above. Right there you can have all your SNS, your RSS feeds and events. So the RSS feeds, as you see, I put in already one for mobility minded so you can customize it you really have to use the exact uh, address for your RSS feed so it won't search it for you by typing in just the plain address the web address so you really have to use either the feed burner address that you're using or some other uh, RSS uh, linkage that you use to, uh, to read your news so basically the ticker gives you quick access to your RSS notifications etc now let's go to this area right here and menu. You really have to get used to that the, the menu buttons are still there, or the, the, the standard Android buttons. So the menu, the home button, the back, and the search, it's listed above this little ticker screen. So the ticker screen gives you the last notification that came through. In this case, it was a Reuters. By tapping the menu key well into the ticker uh, menu, you get all your settings for this. One of them is social networking, so you can set up your Facebook, your MyFace, your Twitter, and you can give um, a destination ringtone or vibration. So that's for Facebook, uh, MySpace, Twitter, etc. You can set up your weather, your RSS feeds, your display settings, your bright light notification, uh, ticker display duration, and the activate grip sensor. That's when the phone is off, you can put it in your palm of your hand and the ticker will show up on the bottom. As well, if you're getting a notification in, the ticker will light up and show you what that notification is. Either a new article on your RSS feed or something that happened on your Facebook or Twitter accounts. Let's go back one more time. And the ticker sleep time, so how often do you want it to turn it back self off? So, the ticker is very handy for people that get a lot of notifications in and you want to go on the fly, see what's going on. Again, you really have to get used to it. Uh, another great option I saw is the moment you start scrolling with your screens, you have the seven screens, that little settings button pops up there. Now it allows you to actually delete one of them if you want to, that I don't want anymore. So now I only have five or, or six and I add another seven one on. And I believe that, let's see, there we go, menu, save, there we go. So it's another thing. Um, for the rest, I have to say it's a five megapixel camera. It's similar to every other Android device that's out there, but that ticker makes it definitely different and quicker access to the information that you would like to see instantly. This was Johan Vermeule with Mobility Minded. We looked at the new Samsung Continuum Galaxy S phone uh, available on Verizon for $199.99 with a two-year subscription and I believe you, need, you get a $100 rebate on this. Thank you so much and till next time.